Greetings, good patrons of the Tulsa City County Library System. My name is Mike Schneider. So glad to be here with you today for this special virtual edition of my Pint Size Polkas program. I come to you all the way from Clinton, Wisconsin. You may be familiar with me from previous programs there. And we're going to get started appropriately with a song called The Hello Polka. And if you feel like dancing or singing or clapping along at any point today, please feel free to do so. In the meantime, let's get started with hello. Hello, hello, hello. What a wonderful word, hello. Hello, hello, hello. You will hear it wherever you go. And when you greet your friends at Polka Dances, or even someone you don't know that passes, hello, hello, hello. What a wonderful word, hello. off here today. And you know, one of the most common questions I get asked when I'm out playing is, how do you play this instrument? But before I tell you how I play this instrument, I'd like to ask you, do you happen to know what this instrument is called? That's kind of a tough one. Well, if you guessed the accordion, you are absolutely right. Nice job. So people ask me all the time, how do you play the accordion? And I always say it's a matter of flexibility. You have to be really flexible to be able to play the accordion. And right now we're going to test your flexibility. And to do that, I want you to put your hands out in front of yourself like this. Yeah. And take your hands and rotate them now so your thumbs are pointed down at the ground like this. And hopefully not a reflection on my music. <laughs> now I want you to take your right hand and cross it over the top of your left hand. Very good. Now we are going to intertwine our fingers like this. And this is where things get kind of tricky. I need you to keep your arms as straight as you can and uh, pay really close attention to your pinky fingers because I need you to wiggle just your right pinky finger. And that is the one on this hand because on the count of three, we are going to take our hands right now and rotate them again so our thumbs are pointed back up at the ceiling like this. One, two, three. Aha! Now, I have good news for you that is a magic trick. If your thumbs are not pointed up like mine are right now, that's okay. You can still play the accordion. This Pint Size Polkas program is brought to you by the Tulsa City County Library. Right now, it's time for our first segment about occupations, jobs, and careers, and also this hat. Can you guess what job goes with this hat? If you guessed pilot, you're right. And that brings us to our first trivia question of the day today, which is, who was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean? Your three multiple choices are either A, Amelia Earhart, B, Patty Wagstaff, or C, Oprah Winfrey. Which one do you think is right? If you guessed Amelia Earhart, you are correct. Great job. And I have a feeling your friends at the Tulsa City County Library System have some great books about Amelia Earhart or airplanes 
that you can check out the next time you visit in person or online. In the meantime, since we just talked about flying an airplane, I'd like you to put your wings out. Maybe give them a little wiggle like this and get ready for takeoff to the sounds of the Flying Machine Polka. <laughs> Way up in the sky there is a flying machine, happy flying machine with great big jets on its wings. It soars on a cloud without a fear or a care. It is oh so safe as it just glides on the air. Out pops its wheels when it's ready to land. Piloted in by the captain's steady hand, he lands oh so soft like the feathers on a hen. He hollers and back, let's go flying again. Right back in the air goes the flying machine, happy flying machine with great big jets on its wings. If you wanna ride, there's only one thing to do. Yes, the flying machine will be coming for you. Everybody get your wings out! And keep your planes in the air! Out pops its wheels when it's ready to land. Piloted in by the captain's steady hand. He lands oh so soft like the feathers on a hen. He hollers and back, let's go flying again. Right back in the air goes the flying machine. Happy flying machine with great big jets on its wings. If you wanna ride, there's only one thing to do. Yes, the flying machine will be coming for you. One more time, everybody keep those wings out! And we're on final approach! Get ready to land! The Flying Machine Polka! If you're enjoying this video, please mention it, share it with your fellow library patrons. Thank you! And we're back right now for the most famous song ever played on the accordion. And that just happens to do with chickens. Do you know what that means for you? It means we get to do the chicken dance. Now, I really wish I was there with you in person today because normally at this point in the program, I take two volunteers from the audience to help lead us with the chicken dance. Unfortunately, I can't make that happen today, but what I'm hoping instead is that two of my kids will be available to help out. Let's find out. How'd you do that? Ah, well, just uh, remind me to tell your mother because that's the first time this trick ever worked. <laughs> All right, so we have my daughter and my son with me here today. This is Kelby, this is Evan, and uh, Kelby and Evan, you've been kind of cooped up a lot this last uh, spring. Uh, would you like to lead us with the chicken dance? Why not? Yeah. All right. Now, have you done the chicken dance before, Evan and Kelby? Yes. Oh, good, good, because otherwise uh, you'd have to wing it. Ha-ha. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so Evan and Kelby have done the chicken dance. They are going to lead us in the chicken dance. You can follow along at home, and the first thing I want you to do is raise your hands like this, because we are going to make our little beaks four times. One, two, three, four. Then we are going to flap our little wings four times. One, two, three, four. Four. Then we're going to wiggle down four times. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then we will clap four times. And when we're singing, it sounds like this. Follow along with us once more. First you make your little beaks, and you flap your little wings, and you wiggle all the way. Clap, 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 clap. Just like that. Evan and Kelby, you're going to do a great job leading us with the chicken dance. You are going to do a great job at home with the chicken dance. Let's get started. First you make your little beaks and you flap your little wings and you wiggle all the way down to the ground. You do it once again, just pretend that you're a hen. You'll be the best dancer in town. This isn't just a dance, it is called a chicken dance. It is the greatest dance around. You give it just one chance, it is worth a second glance. You'll be amazed at what you find. Now, Evan and Kelby, I need the two of you to face each other. Yep, and I need you both to put out just your right chicken wing. 
Yeah, and now I need you to take those chicken wings and link your chicken wings together. And now I need the two of you to twirl around safely. If you have a partner there at home, twirl around safely with them. Otherwise, twirl around safely by yourself. Here we go. Now go and find yourself a partner as you twirl around the floor. And once you've done the chicken dance, you'll keep coming back for more. Here we go again with the chicken dance part. Clap, 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 clap. Evan and Kelby, do you suppose you could go faster? Yes. Yes. All right. I hope you're ready to go faster at home. Here we go. Find a partner and swirl around. Great job at home. Great job to you, Kelby and Evan. When we come back, a special pint size polkas edition of Name That Tune. I'll be right back. And I'm back right now for a special Imagine Your Story edition of Name That Tune. If you've never played Name That Tune before, it's very simple. I'll play three short songs for you. At the end, I'll give you the answers. Pretty easy. Well, here comes mystery song number one, and your clue for this one is there are seven minor characters in this story turned movie. All right, mystery song number one, the answer coming up in just a moment. Here comes mystery song number two, and your clue for this one is the main character behind this theme song has eight stories named for him. Ah, mystery song number two. These songs sound a, a little different on accordion, don't they? Well, here comes our third and final mystery tune, and your clue for this one is the character behind this theme song often stays on track with his stories. Our third and final mystery tune, and it's time right now to hear the answers for all three. Mystery song number one was Hi Ho from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Mystery song number two was Hedwig's Theme from the Harry Potter movie series. And our third and final mystery song was the theme song from Thomas and Friends. And that is the perfect segue to our next segment about occupations, jobs, and careers. And this hat. What job do you think goes with the hat that I'm holding for you? If you guessed railroad engineer, you are absolutely right. Great job to you. And that brings us to our next trivia question of the day, which is, who saved the lives of all the passengers aboard his train on April 30th, 1900? Your three multiple choices are either A, Bobby Jones, B, Casey Jones, or C, Nora Jones. Which one of those do you think is right? If you guessed B for Casey Jones, great job to you. If you didn't, or even if you did, I will bet your friends at the Tulsa City County Library System have some great books about Casey Jones or trains that you can check out the next time you visit online or in person. In the meantime, we are going to do a classic sing-along song right now called I've Been Working on the Railroad. Help me set the beat. All aboard and away we go. I've been working on the railroad 
all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass my time away. Don't you hear the whistle blow? We rise up so early in the morn. Can't you hear the captain shouting? Dine and blow your horn. Dino won't you blow, Dino won't you blow, Dino won't you blow your horn. Dino won't you blow, Dino won't you blow, Dino won't you blow your horn. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah strumming out the old banjo. Fee fi fiddly I o. Fee fi fiddly I o. Fee fi fiddly I o. Strumming out the old banjo. Fee fi fiddly I o. Strumming out the old banjo. I've been working on the railroad. Coming up next, an occupation of a different type. Do you have a question for Mike? Send him an email or Facebook message. He'll be posting video responses on his Facebook page. Be sure to check back often. And that brings us to our last occupation segment of the day today, and a job of a little more traditional type that involves this hat. What job do you think goes with this hat? If you guessed Lumberjack, you are absolutely right. Great job to you once again. And that brings us to our final trivia question of the day today, which is legendary Lumberjack Paul Bunyan dug this deep, famous national treasure by dragging his ax behind him. Your three multiple choices are either A, the Mississippi River, B, the Grand Canyon, or C, Warren Buffett's Pockets. Which one do you think is right? If you guessed B for the Grand Canyon, great job to you once again. And I will bet your friends at the Tulsa City County Library have some more great books about Paul Bunyan or the Grand Canyon, or maybe even Warren Buffett, that you can check out the next time you visit online or in person. In the meantime, we are going to sing a song right now called The Jolly Lumberjack Polka. And for that, I'd like you to raise your hand like this and make a fist because we are holding an imaginary handsaw that we are going to use to saw our trees in time to the beat of the music just like this and the Jolly Lumberjack Polka. High on the hill, way up in the breeze, the lumberjack is sawing his trees. He saws all day and he saws all night. If you are lucky, you just might hear him saw. Everybody get those saws moving. High on the mountain, up in the trees, the lumberjack will fall to his knees. He rolls down the hill, just laughing all the way. When he gets up, he will saw another day. Can you hear him saw? One more time, everybody keep those saws moving again. And now we'll saw faster because it's almost quitting time. And what do you say when your tree is falling? Timber! And then we replant our tree crops because it's a great thing to do for the environment. Visit PintSizePolkas.com to find out where Mike is performing next. While you're there, check out the media and music pages for more videos and to purchase Pint Size Polkas CDs. Thank you. Back right now without the accordion, I've replaced it instead with this red solo cup. And you know, if you're a fan of Hans Christian Andersen and his Snow Queen, or Elsa, uh, you are going to like this next magic trick. And in fact, I need another red solo cup to do this. 
because I have some water in this red Solo cup. This one is empty. This one has water in it. I'm going to pour some of the water from this red Solo cup into this one right now, just like this. Hopefully you could see that. There you go. Going to put this one aside and this red Solo cup, you know, talking about uh, the Snow Queen and Elsa, we are going to turn the water that you just saw go into this cup into ice. Yes. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to count backwards from three to one. And then I need you to say hocus pocus. Can you do that? All right. Let's find out. I'm going to get a little container here to catch the ice we're going to make. And are you ready for the countdown? Let's give it a try. Three, two, one. Hocus pocus. How about that? We just made some ice just like Elsa. I'll be right back. This pint-sized polkas program is brought to you by the Tulsa City County Library. And I'm back right now for the final occupation segment of the day today. And going to see if my kids are available for this one as well. Let's find out. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, I'm glad to be back. All right, and I'm also glad to see that Kelby and Evan are back as well. And because this is our final segment about occupations, jobs, and careers, that means we also have two hats. And I talked with Evan a little bit before this segment, and he said he would like the gray and white one. And Kelby, I hope you're okay with the green and yellow one. Are you? Yeah. Okay, good, good. All right, so Kelby and Evan are both wearing John Deere hats. What kind of job do you think goes with someone who wears a John Deere hat? Kelby, I'll ask you first. What do you think? What job goes with these hats? Farmer. Farmer, yes. Very good. Now, Kelby, are you a farmer? Yes. You are. You are. So you know when you're working in your farm all day, digging in the ground, would you get kind of dirty and sweaty, Kelby? Yes. Yeah. And Evan, when you're really dirty and sweaty, what do you do or what do you take to get cleaned up? A shower. A shower. Yes, you take a shower, you take a bath, you wash your hands, you brush your teeth. It's all called good personal hygiene. And when you're taking that shower or bath, Evan, Kelby, uh, do you wash your head, Evan? Yeah. Yeah. Kelby, do you wash your head? Yes. Yeah, what about your shoulders? Do you wash your shoulders? I do. Yeah, Evan, do you wash your knees? Yeah. Kelby, your toes? Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Now, Kelby, do you have any idea of what I'm getting at? Yes. Yes. What is it? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, yes! Have you done that before, Evan? Yes. Yes, how about you, Kelby? Yes. Yes, but have you done it in German? No. no. Ooh, so we're going to learn some new words today. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes in German. And the first thing I want you to do is repeat after me the following body parts. When I say the body part, touch the body part. Kopf. Kopf. Schultern. Schultern. Kania. Kania. Sayin. Sayin. Yeah, I can't touch my toes when I'm holding my accordion, but the two of you can. And then we get to the eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. Augen. Augen. Oren. Oren. Mund. Mund. Nasa. Nasa. Very good. I hope you're ready. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes in German. Let's go. <laughs> Kopf, Schultern, Knie und Sehen. Kopf, Schultern, Knie und Sehen. Augen und Ohren und Mund und Nase. Kopf, Schultern, Knie und Sehen. Uh, Kelby and Evan, uh, did doing it in German make it kind of difficult? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should we do it in English instead? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Then if we do it in English, we have to go a little faster. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Evan and Kelby, do you suppose you could go even faster? Yes. yes. Would you like to go faster? I sure hope so. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, 
shoulders, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and head. Shoulders, knees, and head. Shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Great job, Evan and Kelby. Great job following along at home. Once again, I'm Mike Schneider saying thank you for watching, and I hope to see you at your library again real soon. In the meantime, make sure to visit your library online or in person to check out some great books and other materials this summer. Thanks again. Some tips that he wrote just for you. You've got to scrub, scrub, scrub to get your hands real clean. From your palms to your fingernails and places in between. Scrub, 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 and the soap, please don't forget. Turn the water on and you will be all set. Got to scrub, scrub, scrub to get your hands real clean. From your palms to your fingernails and places in between. Scrub, 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 and the soap, please don't forget. Turn the water on and you will be all set.